Now, Warner Brothers has made it perfectly clear that Zack Snyder is out. Justice League was a one-time thing, and it ain't happening. Throw it in a bag, zip it up, throw it away. But a new report from Mikey Sutton, who is an industry insider. He's at Geekosity Magazine. I screwed that up. Uh, He says otherwise. And given the changes headed for Warner Media with the Discovery merger, I think that he may be right. what I wanted to do. I wanted to uh, read this article with everybody live on the show because... Live on the show. Live on the program. So here is uh, Gigasi Magazine. Um, Tell me why I just scrolled down. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my fucking god. I said, geez, my mouse is dead. Wow. Right. Oh my god. Screen. So... The Snyderverse discussed to be restored after Warner Media Discovery merger. So this was written by Mikey Sutton himself. Um, if for those of you who don't know, Mikey Sutton and the folks over at Geekosity, they have a whole bunch of inside scoops on different things, um, and they tend to be right a whole lot of the time. Like they really do. Uh, they have some. They have some good shit here. Um, so this says the Snyderverse could be restored by mid 2022, shortly after the Warner Media Discovery merger is finalized. Uh, on May 17th, he reported that a deal worth over $100 billion unites Warner Media and Discovery. We talked about that. We have a video on our channel about that um, and from a past movie news show. Um, and obviously, you know, he goes on to describe that Warner Media and Discovery, um, they're all of their cable channels, their streaming services. It combines all of that. David Zaslov, who is the Discovery CEO, is going to take over the entire organization um, and of course, there's been rumors about Jason Killar uh, leaving, and now rumors of um, Anne, um, what's her name, the CEO of um, Warner Brothers Pictures, um, Anne Sarnoff leaving as well. So uh, obviously, uh, yes, Anne Sarnoff. Um, obviously, their source said that AT and T would have never spun off Warner Media to Discovery if they weren't pleased with their performance. So. I mean, it's not, again, I don't think that the whole discovery thing is like a huge deal for them, but Mm -hmm. I think they're going to try to use it to create something else. Um, So obviously the, the current, uh, you know, the, the current um, state of mind, I guess, in Warner media is that they don't want Zack Snyder back. They don't want to pursue the Snyder verse, as this says here, Um, the new regime will handle the situation differently though. An insider revealed that Zaslav has seen the actual numbers of the Snyder Cut on HBO Max. He cannot make any decisions to resurrect it until the deal is done. Nevertheless, multiple sources indicate that it is where he is headed from private discussions. Another insider leaked that Zaslav is focused on producing more content that audiences seek, especially Warner Media's most popular IPs. Now... That is complete opposite end of the spectrum from what we've seen so far. Because typically mm-hmm. Warner Brothers is like, I don't really care what you all think. I really don't. Um, and that's fine. Like, But again, we've, again, I like Warner Brothers. I'm not bashing them at all. I'm not bashing the people behind Warner Brothers and the people at Warner Media who make these decisions. I just think, why did that scroll by itself? Uh, I just think they're crappy decisions, to be completely honest. Um, so obviously this may seem like common sense after all with the mission of every successful business. Um, but personal crud- grudges of Warner execs against Snyder overrode logic. And of course this goes on to talk about, um, you know, Batman versus Superman. Um, and it was, you know, it didn't meet their box office expectations and how, you know, when the, the stuff happened with Zack Snyder and he was replaced by Josh Whedon or whatever, what happened with Warner brothers, um, you know, after the Snyder Cut came out, 
This article goes on to say it's a solid performance on HBO Max and it left Zaslav thinking how they could take advantage of it. Zaslav has no issues with Snyder. They've never worked together. So all of that crappy bias that Warner Media has right now with Zack Snyder will be gone once Zaslav takes over as the head of this new company. This is all about money. If restoring the Snyderverse can build the value of Warner Brothers Discovery, Zaslav is reportedly all in. As of now... What? I love how they just plainly said it's all about the money, guys. I mean, it is, though. Let's be completely honest. I mean, it is. Uh, as of now, no discussions have begun with Snyder that I am aware of, meaning that Mikey Sutton is aware of, and that won't likely happen until after the merger. So we still have a little while until this would actually even be announced or you know they would even come up with that they were doing this a source added that zaslav is focused on streaming at the moment i have emphasized in the past that the snyder versus future will likely be on hbo max but that's subject to uh evolve as well um so obviously uh you know he goes on and talks about you know marvel and all of these different characters that are being introduced like black adam um and you know there, there's a lot of uncertainty, which we've even talked about on the show in the past. Like, we, if you look at DC, at the, at, uh, the DCE's release slate over the next few years, like, it ain't that great. I mean, it's mm. fine, but it's not, like, great. Um, and their same source said, Zaslav wants to expand DC's most popular properties, or familiar properties, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, the Justice League, and by that, he means Zack Snyder's version. So... Uh, you know, that's kind of, that's really the conclusion of the article. Um, I just like, holy crap, man. Like it could happen. Like it it could genuinely happen under this new leadership, um, from AT&T and, and this Warner media discovery, uh, company. So, I mean, like, do you have thoughts about, I mean, could this thing really exist? Could we actually get a chance to restore the Snyderverse? I think it's hilarious that you like missed over the comment where it said uh, Zaslav is not a comic book ex- expert, and I was like, mm. I just thought that was hilarious. I didn't even. But, I, I, I didn't want to read the whole thing verbatim because we'd be here like we'd only be like halfway done right now. But yeah, yeah. Um, I, I will link that article down below if you want to go read it yourself. Um, and again, the the guys over at Geekosity, man, they've they've done a lot of really good things and they've been right a whole lot of the time so mm-hmm. i'm just uh i'm i'm i mean it could really happen man like Zack snyder could honestly get his universe back now again would it really be the dceu as we know it probably not but it would be on hbo max we would probably see um the nightmare like the part two injustice type storyline and then um whatever the third film would be to round it out and uh the whole war with dark side where the justice league and the green lantern Corps and the amazonians and the atlanteans and everybody in the green lantern Corps and everybody else comes back to fight dark side um but it's just it's crazy to me to think that this actually might be on the table because i mean i don't know if you've kept up with it but like it's been trending on twitter all week like people are keeping this thing alive I think it's weird. I think it's interesting, like to keep up with all like the merger stuff because it's like that's mainly what was was gonna be a pivotal role in with like this whole uh, different route that the DCEU wants to do. Put your mic like, back like, down. Oh, sorry. Is it is it really that bad? It I'm sounded, sorry, guys. It just now it's really loud. It sounded weird though. Oh my bad. But it I was, was gonna say like I was gonna say like uh, this whole merger thing is gonna be the most. Uh, pivotal point of the future of the dcu it will without a doubt because however this plays out because honestly they could just pull out of the merger immediately and then they're sitting there with their dick in their hands i don't think they're gonna pull out i think that's it because at&t owns the company i don't think they're gonna i don't i don't think warner media has they they can't do anything because at&t's got them in their claws so i don't think Mm. that i i mean i i don't know but I don't think that Warner Media can just be like, nope, never mind, because AT and T owns them, and this is people from AT and T wanting more Snyderverse, not Warner Media. All of the gotcha. beef with Zack Snyder, from what I understand, I mean, I could be wrong, but all of the beef with Zack Snyder is coming from Warner Media, not AT and T. 
Um, so furthermore, this also comes from Mikey Sutton over at Geekosity. So AT&T, who owns Warner Media, is interested in bringing Batfleck back for a limited series based on the Arkham video games. Which is pretty cool, too. I could take that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could see how that would be pretty dope. You know, now, as I understand it, this would be an HBO Max exclusive and it would be heavily inspired by the games, which there was what Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. I think I only played through Arkham City. What were the other ones? There was um, there was there was Arkham Knight. Uh, that's Arkham the last Asylum, one, right? Arkham. There was Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. Uh, the Origins. 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 Arkham, Arkham Origins. Origins. And then Arkham Knight. Yep. So there's four. And then I think there's a fifth. I think there's a fifth one like set in the same universe about the Suicide Squad maybe coming out. I'm not no, positive. it's there's another one coming out with uh, it's taking place after like the death of Batman and all the other sidekicks like you know Robin, yeah. uh, Red Hood, and uh, Batgirl are gonna be introduced. That's it's dope. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it, I I really do. I I remember playing Arkham City. I loved Arkham City. Like Arkham it's City. probably like one Without of my favorite. Doubt, one one of the best. Uh, one of the best iterations of the of that game. Yeah, I mean it's it may be in like my top ten favorite games of all time. I loved playing through it. I I really I need to play Origins and Night. Um, but you know, back when Affleck wanted to do his original script. Um, I think there were a lot of problems with the solo Batman movie that Ben Affleck wanted to do. Um, yeah. Obviously, he wrote a script that dealt with Bruce Wayne's insanity and like him having to deal with all of the heavy shit of being Batman. Um, but I don't think it was really loved by everybody. I think Warner Brothers had problems with it. I think um, Ben Affleck had some personal issues at the time. Uh, there were there were just there were a lot of hands in the pot, and I think they were they all couldn't disagree on what they wanted to do. So of course that got canned. And then yeah. on top of everything else with the DCEU and all the crap that went along with that for so long, it didn't happen. And now Matt uh, Matt Reeves, I almost said Matt Beeves. Matt Reeves has you know obviously the Batman with Robert Pattinson is coming out, um, and it's basically a bat Batman in the multiverse. <laughs> I'm Pretty gonna much. keep throwing around that word, um, but you know it's 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 an alternate Batman. It doesn't really have anything to do with the with the DCEU. Um, but because the Snyder Cut was such a success, AT and T is interested in Affleck returning for this new series. Um, and I mean, I would you agree? There's parallels between the games and between what Ben Affleck wanted to do about uh, like Bruce Wayne's insanity. Yeah, because he was I, more, he was mainly interested. Uh, ben Affleck is mainly interested in the whole uh, psychology of uh, Bruce Wayne, right? And how and, it, how it's been affected him. And the games are very dark too. Like even like even I, I know Joker dies in Arkham City, but like even the way that Batman and Joker interact in the video game series, it's kind mm-hmm. of like it's kind of wild and crazy and like it. They like they both kind of seem a little bit psycho. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they both of them are fucking nuts. They just yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. The relationship between uh, Batman and the Joker has always been like the most uh, <clears throat> intriguing relationships, and just you know, they bring out the worst in each other. Yeah. Like, like they like really the, do. They're both yin and yang. Yeah. There's and... a there's a there's a fucked up <clears throat> uh, comic book strip where uh, Batman actually kills the Joker. And uh, Batman is left, you know, with like really no purpose at all. Yeah. Like he ends up going to a depressive state, at which point Alfred starts like, you know, acting as a Joker. So it gives the uh, uh, Batman some sort of purpose again. That's screwed then, up. But then, yeah, it's fucked up. It's also kind of sweet too on Alfred's part. But Alfred gets a little too into the part. And he starts taking the the whatever chemical that Joker had, and he actually becomes the Joker. It's fucking sad, but it's interesting. That's actually kind of crazy. Um, but you know, uh, if you think back to even in Batman versus Superman, when when Bruce Wayne looks at Robin's suit and it's got all the spray paint, and it's like like implying yeah, that, that was a story that the that Joker I killed Robin. To see. Yeah, this series could go back and like tell that. St- Hi, <laughs> hey, hey Milo. Milo. Unnecessary. Hi, Milo. Milo is he agrees he wants this Arkham series to happen with Ben yeah, Affleck. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, 
But I, I don't know. I think that, you know, you could tell that story about the Joker killing Jason Todd. And, you know, you could uh, you could take aspects of what Ben Affleck wanted to do and you could take aspects of the Rocksteady games and like combine them to make a rated R limited series um, on HBO Max exclusively. And especially if the Smiter, if Smiter, if the Snyderverse was really to be restored, you could, you could set all of this on, um, on HBO Max. Like this could all be an HBO thing. Like, yeah, you if, they, if they didn't want to have to do it theatrically, which like, whatever, that's their, that's their call. Like, so be it. Um, but, you know, with all of this news, to kind of wrap it up in a bow, it seems that we may actually be closer to a return of the Snyderverse than we realize that we are. Um, again, it's been, tra- I mean, release this, the Snyder, um, not release, uh, restore the Snyderverse, release the air cut, and now release the Schumacher cut is <laughs> is trending on uh, on Twitter right now. And it still has been, which um, of course, the Schumacher cut's not really DCEU. That's talking about um, uh, Schumacher's cut of Batman Forever from a while ago, which apparently was supposed to be a dark, psychological, crazy movie, and it got turned into what Batman Forever was. But, uh, I mean... <sighs> it's going to get to the point where, like, it's going to get to a trend where people are like, look, look like, you know, everything's going to be a director's cut. Which, you know, you, you like, you know, like, director's cut has always been kind of a thing. Yeah. Like, there's always been, like, director's cut of certain movies, but no one really fucking <sighs> cared about them. Right. Now it's going to be, like, the main thing. It's like, sure. if someone didn't like a movie, if the audience score was low, everyone's going to be like, was there a director's cut? I'm sure it was better. <laughs> what, well, what does the director's cut look like? Yeah. Exactly. If it's got a bad Rotten Tomato score, well, where's the director's cut? Yeah, where's the director's cut? Let's It'll make it better. Cut. Yeah. So look at Rob Zombie's movies. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're worse. Uh, but yeah, man, it, it's just, it, it's crazy because we might actually be close to the Snyder Cut being revived or the Snyderverse mm-hmm. being revived. And that is freaking dope. 